Hi, welcome to a new video on accessing statistics about your CPU, RAM and hard disk. To be able to get these statistics via Python, you need to use the psutil library. So import psutil and that's something you need to install because it's a third-party library. So pip install psutil. If you're using a REPL for this, be aware that the statistics you're going to get are those of the server where REPL is running. So the Linux server. If you're using your local IDE, then what you'll get is your own computer. Once you have imported psutil, we will start by accessing processor statistics, so uh, the CPU. The library is very very easy to use, all you have to do is just refer to a few methods. So you say CPU and then you have different methods here. I'm going to show some of them. So for example CPU count will give you the number of cores on your CPU. So 16 in my case. And if you say logical is equal to false that will give you only the physical cores, so 8. Next, if you want to know the current CPU usage as a percentage, you would say um, psutil.cpu% and run. We get 0 because the time interval was zero. So in order for this to work correctly, you need to give an interval of at least 0 0.1, but one second is a good number. So in that case, you will get the current percentage your CPU is being used on your computer. 7.5 is in my case. The higher this interval is, the more accurate the value will be. So it gives you a better view of the percentage. More about the CPU, uh, you can use psutil.cpu times. Now this will give you a series of values as you will see. So these are the seconds that the CPU has, has spent in the given mode. So as a user or as, or as the system, as a kernel or in idle mode. To get even more statistics, you can use psutil.cpu stats. So that's uh, the other tuple. So these are named tuples. If you really want to access one of these values, such as a system for that first tuple, you do dot .system. And that should give you only the system value, which is this in seconds, so the time spent in seconds. The same goes for the other uh, CPU stats which we get from this method. And lastly, about the CPU, I wanted to also show you the frequency of the CPU, which is that. So that will give you the frequency, uh, the current frequency in megahertz and the minimum and the maximum as well. Next, ROM. So temporary memory of your computer. You can access uh, the ROM statistics using virtual memory and see what that gives us. So it's that named tuple. You have the total memory of your RAM, so the capacity of your RAM, and that is in bytes, and that's the available also in bytes. That's the percentage used at the moment we're speaking in my computer. And so you have another series of statistics here about your RAM. Now, if you want to see the swap memory, which is the memory that is used when the RAM is full and the memory is used from the hard disk, then you'd do um, swap memory and that should be the last result. So that's a named tuple. And lastly, your hard disk. 
naturally you want to know the usage of it, uh, so disk usage, and it expects a path. In my case, it would be that home page. So run, and those are the numbers in bytes. That's the total size of my hard disk. Uh, that's the used size, and uh, that's a free, and that's a percentage as well. So again, if you want to just get one of them, such as percentage, you can say dot percent to get that number. Run, and you get. 71.9 you can also get the partitions using psutil disk partitions in the form of a list with different items depending on how many partitions you have for more information about all these parameters that you see here, you can go to this page. So that's the official documentation of PSUtil. You can also find this URL attached in the lecture resources. So you can just click it and it will take you to the documentation. Yeah, that's about this lecture. Pretty simple, but maybe you need this. So thank you, I'll see you later.